next comedian just told me that he's a professional, uh, he's a professional drug dealer. So give it up for Game Waco. For Game Waco. Professional drug dealer, huh? <laughs> My ass. I'm not really from here, just in case you haven't figured that out yet. I heard King of the they're talking about uh, Africa, you know? Those are people we call fake Africans. You've been to Africa just one time, you think you're African. Look at me, I'm the real African right here. But anyway, uh, I almost got in trouble at work today. Being a stand-up comedian, sometimes you say some things that you think are funny, but at work then may not be funny. <laughs> so we have a new girl at our uh, HR office. I've seen her a couple times before. I talked to her, you know, and uh, she's a white girl. You know, I'm a black guy, white girl. There's a kind, of, you know, friction right there. <laughs> and uh, so I, I said, oh, hey, you know, you look nice today. She was wearing a red dress. No, but man, she looks awesome. So I told her, you know, hey, um, that's a nice dress. When did you get that? She said, yeah, I just got it. Okay. That's awesome, you know. I'm about to have an extension program in my pants right now. <laughs> so apparently that didn't go well. She told my boss, and I got in trouble by it, you know. But apparently my boss is my good friend I went to college with, so I got away with it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I got high for the first time a couple of weeks ago. I did it by accident. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I went to a friend's house, and uh, that one evening we were supposed to meet up for dinner. And something went on, so we didn't meet up. I was hungry, so I went over to her house, and she made brownies. <laughs> and I walked into the kitchen, I just started eating brownies. I love brownies. <laughs> I started eating brownies. I had two of them, and then I went back for the third one. And uh, somehow I, I, start, I became really happy. I'm like, I'm fucking happy. Why am I happy? You know? I've not been this happy before. I start dancing by the bonfire. What the fuck is going on? And then Sarah was like, okay, well, why are you so happy? What happened? What did you have for dinner? Nothing, just two brownies on your table. Really? Just one or two? I had three. Oh my God, Gabe, there's weed in them. Really? I don't give a fuck, I'm happy, you what? <laughs> and then she had two, three, you know, she had three dogs. And the two, three dogs are looking at me, I'm like looking at the dogs, you know, what the fuck's going on? And one of them turned to a puma. So I'm looking at the dog, I'm like, what the fuck, there's a puma in the house? <laughs> you know, I'm a pharmacist, so I studied the THC chemistry. Uh, when I was in college, I, uh, I took a class, substance abuse class. And so I know the chemistry behind the THC, I know what it does. I don't know how it works, but I just never smoked it. Somehow, apparently, you can, like, eat it. You put it in the food, and somehow you can heat the shit out of it. So, uh, as, like I said, I'm a pharmacist, and I used to work for a um, CVS retail company. And back then, that's when I realized, you Americans, you complain about little shit. <laughs> Something simple, you complain about it. I had a lady that threatened that she was going to sue me because I didn't pronounce the name right. She was mad at me. I'm like, listen, lady, the medication is going to work the way it's supposed to work, okay? It's not going to stop working because I didn't pronounce the name right. <laughs> she, was a, she was an Asian lady. She was mad at me. You stupid African. You didn't come here and insult people. I'm going to sue you. I'm like, get your fucking ass out of my pharmacy, okay? Don't you ever come back here again. I'm going to, every time I see you again, I'm going to blindfold you with the dental floss. <laughs> she got really bad. She pissed me off. But uh, my last week, right before I quit that job, I, I was like fucking around with people. And uh, this guy called and said, I need a, a refill on my Viagra. And I said, where are you going, man? He said, I'm going on vac vacation. And then I run the prescription, and it was too soon to fill. I'm like, man, I, I can't feel it. It's too soon. But I need to override my prescription. So, like, okay. Are you taking your wife or are you taking your girlfriend with you? I'm like, uh, I'm taking my wife with me. Well, can I come with you? <laughs> I'm going to double the pills. You can go together. 
Uh, she didn't like that. I'm like, well, oh, fuck off, man. I'm not feeling your prescription then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Um, yeah, white people are really funny. I grew up around white people. I, was, I, came in Iowa, I came to Iowa when I was 14, so the last 17 years I was in Iowa, and a lot of my friends are white, you know, so they fuck around with me all the time. And uh, one time we went to a party, and uh, my friends were like, Gabe, listen, we're going to go uh, take one of the girls' camera, take her to the bathroom, take pictures of penises, and put it back on the table. So, fuck y'all, let's do it, let's go. <laughs> so we did, uh, you know, we took pictures of my penises, and then, and then as I was walking out of the bathroom, I look, like, God damn, what the fuck did you do? I'm the only black guy at the party. <laughs> Shit didn't go well. Hey, my name is Gabe, you guys have been lovely. Have a good night.